Hey folks, it's Mark here. It's New Year's Eve. It's a bit of a dreary morning. Just left my house and I'm on my way to my parents' place, which is about seven minutes walk. Gonna have a cup of coffee, have a little chat. I'm gonna make just like a little mini vlog. I've um, got some new vegan foods that I've discovered to share with you. You've probably already heard of them, but I'm gonna share them with you anyway. I'm going to make myself a big stir fry, which is one of my favourite meals at the moment. So, uh, stick with me. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, please. Thumbs up are always helpful. Stick with me and uh, I'll take you through my day on New Year's Eve. scared of the hoover ladies and gentlemen so I've just got back from my parents had a nice time nice coffee nice chat played with Max for a bit gonna make myself some lunch I'm gonna make a stir-fry just wanted to mention this this stuff is incredible this is Tesco's own soya mints uh, for those of you in the States or anywhere else in the world it's often referred to as TVP textured vegetable protein it's almost fatless lots of protein lots of lysine which is important and the thing is this is 375 grams and it costs one pound 90 i can get it cheaper on buy whole foods online.co.uk so next time uh, when i run out of this i'm going to get it from there but this is fantastic stuff i've been having it all week in stir fries a couple of days ago I made myself one of my big infamous vegan pizzas and I marinated the soya mints in curry powder and just sprinkled it on the top of my pizza and oh, it was just sensational. It's really, really easy to do. You basically use a ratio of one to one in terms of soya mints and water. So in here, I've got half a cup of soy mints. I had half a cup of water and to the water I added smoked paprika and garlic powder, pour the water on, stir it all around, let it sit for 10 minutes, then you take like a, a paper towel, a piece of kitchen roll, just pat the top of it to get rid of any excess water and then it's done and I promise you this tastes absolutely incredible. As I said I've used smoky paprika and garlic but obviously if you've got steak seasoning or chicken seasoning or beef or curry or whatever you want to use you can use that and it will make your soy mints taste of that thing obviously soy mints doesn't have any taste so you have to add some sort of flavoring i've used it in my tomato like bolognese for my pasta i've used it on pizzas um, i'm gonna make like a toasted sandwich and have that in it's, it's fantastic so i'm going to use that in my stir fry half a cup of peas some brown basmati rice that i cooked this morning that's been in the fridge and obviously as you can see added a half a teaspoon of turmeric to the cooking water always i always add turmeric to my rice water because turmeric is literally just one of the most fantastic superfoods you can have the other thing i wanted to draw your attention to is this stuff this, I got this, well, you can get it in Sainsbury's, you can get it in Tesco's. I just got this from Waitrose. This is Swedish glace, dairy-free, heavenly chocolate made with soy ice cream. This is the best uh, vegan ice cream that I have had to date. It's fantastic. I was eating the Almond Dream ice cream, which I, I wasn't 100% certain of, and it's like double the price. And I got this a couple of days ago. As I said, this is half the price of Almond Dream. And I think it's a hell of a lot nicer. This is just fantastic stuff. Really beautiful. It's got, a, it's got the consistency a little bit more, you know, as it starts to defrost ever so slightly, like a mousse. But um, ah, it's, it's just fantastic stuff. So anyway, I'm going to stop waffling on. Oh, I also bought some sweet chilli and red pepper tyrrells while I was out gonna have them this evening and this stuff which is beautiful again waitrose lemonade it's got like zesty lemon actually in it it's the nicest lemonade so i'm gonna go away and i'm gonna cook this and well basically i'll show you how it's done
So I'm starting my stir fry by just uh, frying off some mushrooms. I've just added a very, very, very tiny, about a teaspoon um, worth of toasted sesame oil. After I've fried off the mushrooms for about two minutes, I don't want to make them really small and shrivel too much. I've now added the rice and the peas, as you can see. Looking good. The turmeric will change to a slightly lighter colour as the rice heats up. Just want to stir all this in for a couple of minutes and then move on to the next stage. And the final stage is to add your soy mints or your TVP or whatever you call it in your country. I'm going to add quite a lot today because I need the protein. Okay, so there it is finished. It takes about five minutes to do all together. Obviously the rice is pre-cooked. I keep it in the fridge for a couple of hours and I just add it all together. I mean, that is such an amazing dish. Very low in fat, high in protein, high in minerals, high in vitamins, fibre, lysine, carbs, starch, the works. Obviously, the sesame oil does add some fat to it. And obviously, if you are one of these no oil people, then obviously you're not going to do that. But I've started introducing a little bit of sesame oil into my cooking because... Yes, I know a lot of people don't like oil and they say it's very bad for you, but sesame oil has got positive things to it. So I don't have very much and I don't have it very often. But so I'm sitting here enjoying my lunch. Um, <laughs> I've messed around with the camera settings, so it looks really weirdly yellow, but um, <laughs> it's really not. It's really nice. Sitting here having my lunch, having lunch with Madeline Olivia, watching her video about what she got for Christmas. If you don't know about Madeline's channel, um, go take a look. She's really cool. I've really enjoyed her sort of journey to minimalism and veganism, and she's been doing daily blogs for Christmas and stuff. So um, really excited to watch more of her videos. So give Madeline's uh, channel a try. I'll put a link to her channel in the description box below. Back again, folks. So it's getting on in the evening now. I'm finally going to sit down and watch this Star Wars The Force Awakens. I'm a massive Star Wars fan, so I'm rather embarrassed to say that I haven't actually seen this film. Never got round to seeing it in the cinema for one reason or another, and I've only just gone and got it, so I'm going to give this a try this evening. I know a lot of people said um, it's a bit of a carbon copy of um, the first Star Wars film, A New Hope, but a lot of people have said it's really good, so I'm really looking forward to it. Hope it's good. The stray cat has just come in. <laughs> As you can see, she's very, very comfortable. Hey, puss. She's very comfortable. I'm quite glad she's in because it's really cold and foggy and icy and stuff out there. So, um, yeah, I'm going to watch the film. Sorry that this is in black and white when the rest wasn't. But, um, as you saw from the earlier section when I was filming my lunch, I don't know what happened, but I managed to make the colour go all kind of yellowy. So um, I'm going to have to fiddle around with the settings on the camera again to get that back. So I'm going to watch this film, I'm going to settle down with a drink, watch the film, and um, well, yeah, enjoy the rest of my New Year's Eve. I'm not going out anywhere. Um, I don't generally, well, actually, I can't remember the last time I did anything on New Year's Eve to celebrate it. I just. Uh, I'm one of those people who doesn't really look at New Year's Eve as a something to kind of celebrate and do something on, so I just tend tend to have a quiet one. See you all again very, very soon. Cheers.